getting spot on colors on your images is really important. And in this video I will give you four tips how to get your colors perfect. Hi there, my name is Peter Forsgaard and I am an Olympus visionary and a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And before we start talking about those four tips about perfect colors in your images, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when there is a new video online. My channel is all about you getting to be a better photographer. First we have to talk about what is spot on colors. In most cases, in everyday photography, the colors are not that important. I mean, of course, red should be red and blue blue, but if it's exactly the same blue or same red that you saw in your uh, scene what you were photographing, it's not that important if it's a bit off. Because, you know, photography is part technique and part art. And, and impressions and your, how you feel. So it doesn't really matter what the colors are, to be honest. Only thing when it matters is if you're photographing a certain subject that you want to show what the actual color is, then of course it matters. And of course, if you're doing some product photography, then it's really crucial that the product is exactly the color that you uh, that it is. So you want to repro, uh, how do you say, reproduce that color in your photograph. And I will give you four tips on how to get the perfect color. And one of them, the last one, is a color target. Well, this one. And uh, I will talk about this in the end of this video. And this is a really interesting way of getting your colors spot on. But let's start with the first tip. Choose right white balance. White balance is a very in, uh, important thing to understand the concept because every color or light source has a different color. Right now, I'm filming this with uh, 5600 kelvins. That one over there is a totally different color. As you can see, it's a lot more warm color. It's a yellow color. And uh, something that is shot with uh, this white balance shows that one even more yellow than it actually is. And getting the white balance correct, you will have your uh, colors in your images spot on from the start. Or at, maybe not spot on, but much closer to the real color that it actually is. And I do have a couple of videos about white balance and here is one of them. So if you're more interested in white balance right now than image uh, or the colors in your image, go and watch that video. It's very helpful. And remember, using the right white balance will get you spot on colors, but it doesn't mean that you have to have, like I said in the beginning, artistic uh, impression, or how do you say that? Well, do you want to impress yourself in artistic way, then white balance doesn't really matter. If you want your colors to be off, totally fine. But the main thing is that you are aware what you're doing. You know that you're using a wrong white balance and that's why the colors look like this. So it's not a surprise to you. So that's why it's really an important thing to know the concept of white balance. And then tip number two, get your exposure correct. This might not be the first thing that you realize when getting your colors spot on. If you're underexposed images a lot, the colors are uh, oversaturated usually and too dark. And if you start opening up the image by increasing the exposure, you will introduce noise and it won't be the same thing. The colors won't be exactly the same. So try to get your image spot on. A slight on overexposure is a lot better than underexposing. But of course, this depends on if you're shooting RAW or JPEG. And I will talk about that a bit later. But remember, getting the exposure correct, there are two benefits. You get your easier to fix your colors and also the image quality will be better because you will have less noise in your image. And then tip number three, use RAW. And this is the part which is really important because if you use RAW, you have better possibilities to fix the white balance and the exposure in post. Of course, if it's underexposed, then it's, it's, it's a bit harder because it won't be the same image in most cases. But uh, shooting RAW, you have total control over the white balance. So you can fix the white balance by finding a neutral uh, uh, color, gray or white in your image. And if you don't have, then one of these comes into place. I will talk about that in the next tip. But remember, using RAW is always the best option. If you're using JPEG, then the color science 
comes from the camera, which is okay if, if you're happy with the colors. And JPEGs out of Olympus are quite nice. They, are, they have really nice and rich colors. They might not be totally accurate in a way that a certain red is exactly the same red as it is in, in real life. But as I said, it can be your artistic interpretation of that red and that's totally fine. Using RAW, you have more flexibility on fixing your colors. And then tip number four, calibrate your camera. It might sound a bit overwhelming that how do I calibrate my camera, but it doesn't, it's not actually that hard. You just use one of these. And this is a X-Rite color checker passport. I think this is passport two. And uh, this one is really crucial on getting your colors correct. It has different colors and it has different uh, gray levels, uh, I mean gray scale, and it also has a very good tool for balancing the white balance. On, I mean on this one and this one is for is the 18% gray that will uh, e make it easier for you to determine the exposure. You use the spot meter and expose your image from this, but of course there are better ways use your histogram and flag colors, but this is one way of doing it. It's the old school way, which is very good way. And um, before we talk about this a bit more, there is a link, which is an affiliate link to this color checker. It's, as I said, the maker is x right and they also have one for special made for video, which is uh, also a very very handy way. It's a bit different, got a bit different batches. The downside on these is that uh, these aren't really cheap. This one is 150 euros, which I think is, is a, if it's not a ripoff, I would say that it's quite expensive. And also always try to hold it like this. So it's uh, in the shadow because these wear out. If this is exposed to sun for for uh, you know, a long period of time, it will shift the colors. Because I do have one old uh, color patch, which is a big one, and it's from Kretak uh, Macbeth, which is actually called x right now. And those colors are totally off because I measured them compared to this and there was a big difference. The way you do this is that you photograph this patch and then you have a plugin in, in Lightroom that is free from x right and that will make a uh, color profile for your camera for different situations. And you can do kind of like a general, uh, what do you call it, a, a color profile. But to be exactly precise, you can do that every time you make an image, if it's possible. Let's say you're photographing portraits, macro, still life or whatever. Have this one in the first photograph and if the light is consistent, use this to calibrate the colors. It's a very, very good way. And let me explain how it works. Import the image and export it in presets. Choose color checker camera calibration. When Lightroom is finished, close Lightroom and open it again. Go to profile and choose the profile you made. I will make a separate video about this camera calibration where I go more deep into how it's actually done. But I hope these uh, tips help you to get better color in your photographs. And about that white balance, here is the video about white balance and how to get it right in camera. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.